Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV. Well, today I'm going to be testing out an uh, over the air TV antenna that can be hooked onto an RV. It isn't specifically made for an RV, like some, sort of made for a house or a cabin or an RV. It's made by a company called Antop. So I thought it'd be uh, cool to get a hold of it. They offered to send it out for me to, for a free review. And I can compare it with what I installed uh, last year. I put in one of those uh, King Jack antennas that you, you put on your RV. And they have a little uh, kind of rotation device and a signal meter. This one, though, is kind of intriguing because it's omnidirectional. You don't have to rotate it. And it's what they call 720 degrees. I guess this is your 360 degree. And then it's also got a vertical antenna. Or another 360 degree, I guess. Anyway, they have pretty good uh, claims as far as picking up channels. I think it said something like 50 something, uh, or 55 to 65 mile range on it. Here's what it's going to look like installed. Comes with a pole mount, or you could mount it sideways, or you could mount it straight up and down. And it comes with a little uh, amplifier, and it's uh, got a filter in it, and it filters out the the cell signals that may be in the area, like 4G, 5G, that can kind of interfere with the TV antenna. So it's got a little filter in there and an amplifier. This plugs into this to power it. Um, it is an AC device, but I notice it says uh, 12 volts. 200 milliamps, so I guess you could wire that into the 12 volt DC circuit and then you get 33 feet of cabling So what I'm going to do is just uh, put it on a, my flagpole Mount it at about the same height as my existing RV antenna and do kind of a side-by-side -side test I happen to be in a, in a place called Mojave, California It's on the fringe of a lot of LA and Bakersfield TV stations, so it's kind of a a weaker area so it'd be interesting to see. I've been here quite a few times before and always had a little bit of trouble picking up TV stations so it'd be interesting to see if this one is any better or worse than my existing one. So let's get to mounting it. I'll mount it on the pole, run this into the RV and then this has to be close to your TV. It has a three foot cord here and then that plugs into the incoming cable. Here's my test setup. I just use my flagpole there and mount it right up there and running the coax cable down and around under my slide. It's just sort of a temporary test thing and we'll run it through the window there and go inside and hook it up to the TV. So fished it through the window and I've plugged in the little amplifier box there, the filter amplifier, and I have it in green position which says for the strongest amplification. And we'll do a channel scan here, see how many channels we get. Go oh. antenna and Find channels. So this will take a while. I'll come back and let you know how many it found. Okay, looks like it found 18 channels. Quite a few there. Not bad, if I recall. Anyway, so let's uh, try the regular King Jack antenna that I installed last year. Okay, so we're going to do a search again using my King Jack. This one has a, a thing you turn the King Jack around, up top rotates, and then it has some signal strength light. So you set it for the, the max signal strength and then you scan. So we'll see how many channels we get with it. So it actually only found four channels. Maybe 
maybe I'll try spinning it around to another position, play with it a bit, see if I can find a position that gets more channels. So I tried a bunch of different uh, positions on that antenna and four channels is as many as I can get. And even this, um, you can see this football game, it's kind of cutting in and out. It's not as solid as the other antennas. So for this fringe area, I have to give uh, high marks to the antop. We've moved down a little ways from Palm Springs, but I know this is a fairly good area for antenna reception. Usually get quite a few channels. So I've uh, put the antop antenna up there uh, using a flagpole mount again like I did before. And we'll go in and do a scan and compare it with the King Jack antenna. You can see it up on the roof there. It's near that round dome thing. And we'll just compare the reception here in a stronger area. If you're wondering about all the other gadgets up there, well, up here is my Starlink internet dish. And then we also have that gray antenna is for a cell booster. And then the other thing with all the doodads on is my weather station. So we've moved down to a location near Palm Springs, probably about a good 20 miles southeast of there. And I'm still picking up uh, quite a few channels. This is a pretty strong area for uh, TV antenna signals. So this is the King Jack, and I was able to grab 48 channels doing a scan. You can see here there's a, a local uh, station, NBC station, playing golf. It's one reason I still like to have um, my antenna. I enjoy watching golf, so a lot of times it's hard to find it streaming on online, so it's nice to be able to pick it up over the air. You can see there's lots of channels came through there. And that's pretty normal for here. I've been here with the, the Weingart sensor back wing and this King Jack. And it's about, you know, we get pretty close to around 50 channels here. So let's do a scan with the Antop antenna and see if there's any difference. And it found 48 as well. So I did a few scans with each and they all both seem to come back as a max 48 uh, stations here. So it was interesting that in Mojave it did quite a bit better than the King Jack. But here I guess the signals are strong enough that the King Jack is able to pull them in too. Okay, let's give you a look inside here, see what you get for 99 bucks. Here's the little uh, booster unit here. There's some uh, transistors and circuitry on there. Some little coils and a capacitor and your power supply and LED. And I took this thing apart. Looks like there's like metal, three different uh, metal things. Some around here to give it omnidirectional, I guess. And there is a circuit board in there with more transistors and stuff on there. Inside, and then this goes over to here because you have that that plugs in. I imagine in there there's just like a, a wire antenna gives it a different uh, direction. So the hardware is just fair. It's not great or anything like this. This stuff looks like it'll rust pretty quickly, especially where we live on the coast. The, the salt air will rust that out. I guess you could get stainless if you like. And the cabling is just okay. I don't really like these little things. They're kind of finicky to do up. I wish they were longer better to get your hand on especially if you're going to be connecting it quite a quite a bit like I will and then we got the little power supply like I mentioned before anyway I thought I'd take it apart just so you could see what's inside that thing so there you go in my limited tests so far the Antop definitely seems to have an advantage in uh, weak signal areas uh, this is from a website called rabbit ears Dot info that I use. It's a pretty good. You you put you find a map and you you drag the thing into your location. Um, it's nice because when you're boondocking, you don't have to pick a city or a zip code. You can drag right to your coordinates. Anyway, this was the Mojave um, look at the stations that are in Mojave, and you can see there's only two that come in fair, and then everything else is poor or bad. 
Um, that was my first location. And then this next location is where we're boondocking on the Salton Sea. And you can see there's that one good station, the NBC, and then there's a bunch that are fair and some are poor. So in this first one, my King Jack could only manage four channels, but the Antop managed 18. And then in this location, they both found 48 channels, or yeah, both found 48 channels. Anyway, I'll leave you some links, a uh, link to the Antop website if you want to have a look at their, their stuff. They have different antennas and that, and also the, the one I'm using on the Amazon. And I'm going to continue uh, kind of messing around with it as we go around and boondock the southwest different areas. I'll test, I'll test both antennas because um, we do get into kind of remote areas with very few channels. And we'll, we'll see how it performs. Till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Cheers, guys.